Lonnie Quinn has more on the snow, and the numbers are going up, it appears. And hashtag sleeves up. Sleeves up, yeah. Yeah. You, know, you wonder if I should maybe do like another roll or something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, the, the numbers are going up because, well, that's what I see out there. And I was telling you before, I think that's really my job is to make adjustments as I see the adjustments in the atmosphere. And right now, all the temperatures around the area, my weather watchers, thank you guys for pouring in the numbers. Everybody's 32 degrees or below. Uh, I, I want to make a push right now for all of you out there, all 1,000 plus weather watchers. Let's everybody get on their horse, man. Everybody, help me out with this one. Get your pictures in here. Get me your data. I want to hear about the wind gusts in your area, especially for those of you on the Jersey Shore and the South Shore of Long Island. I'd love to get pictures all around the area, and I definitely want these snow totals, especially now. I find the snow totals right now almost more important than our end totals because they are going to set us up for what I believe will be our final number because this is just extra snow that we weren't planning on. It's getting here earlier than anticipated and taking a little bit more of a northerly track. Here's your Vortex satellite and radar in our area. Well, I'm just so used to saying that. Vortex satellite and radar. This is just your this is just your radar. Satellite would show you the cloud cover on top of this, but I, I took the cloud cover off. So I don't want there to be any mistake about where the snow is and where the snow is. And uh, I mean you certainly have cloud cover throughout the area. This sort of dark gray leading edge here. Upper level snowflakes not making their way down to the ground. The bright whites Okay, snow definitely making its way down to the ground. We're actually starting to get it very close into the burrows as well. Bigger picture is going to show you. Wow, lots to talk about right here. Okay, first thing is this line right here. Okay, now we've been through this drill a bunch, you and me. Uh, you know that the white is the snow and the green is the rain. And wherever you see the little pink, uh, you're catching that, that sleet, that ice, that rain snow line, the mixing line. This is a real important component right now of this storm. And, and, you know, when I first looked at it, I'm thinking, why in the world am I catching, okay, in the same latitude, do I have, do I have snow, okay, right here, and I have rain right here? And then we, we, we sort of tapped into the rotation around this secondary low that is forming. That's the key to your, your storm and to the bigger totals. Because this secondary low is offshore. The center of that is now moving offshore. You got to have that move offshore if it's going to tap into the added energy. And it's happening, guys. So this is moving offshore. Now it's tapping into some moisture in the ocean, which is what the ocean supplies, right? But it's also, what do we have out here? Got the Gulf Stream. It's attacking and pulling some of that in, so it's a little bit warmer air, and that's why you have rain. And it's not making its way all the way to shore, but I believe along the shore tomorrow, in the Jersey Shore, I think you're going to have some mixing. So for you, right on the shore, right on the beaches in, say, Ocean County and Monmouth County, be a little bit lower for you, right on the beaches. All right, let's let's show you how the future cast is picking up on it, and this is really interesting. Here you are, 5:30. All right, now I just showed you that snow was out there. This and you know what? I'll go back. I'll go back one click for you. All right, I want you to watch again. I want you to watch to see how many of the dry slots where you don't have precipitation are going to be over our area. So it's just starting to come in now. Let's go from right now until 5:30. Dick and Alice, watch this. You don't see the dry slots. They're not developing, not forecast to develop. If they do develop, I'm going to lower the totals. But right now, if this holds true, you're going from this point forward until 5 through. This is unfathomable to me that it's going to be that long without a dry slot. Then they start to develop a bit here and there. But now you're on the ragged edge of the storm, and they're just not as prevalent. So if they're not going to be prevalent, i got to put those numbers up, and that's how I come up with where we are right now. I think it's 9 to 15 around the city, all the areas shaded in blue, 5 to 9 if you go north of the area. And, look, you, know, you can even have that lower number right along the shoreline like I was talking about because I think you will see some sleet and rain mixed in there, 15 inches or more as you go south. Um, and, again, the numbers right now for... The Blue Ridge Mountains, which is where they believe the, the center, this is going to be on top of the 81 corridor in Virginia, they're talking about three feet of snow from between D.C. at around 20 inches or so, pushing into, like, uh, I think it's Winchester, Virginia, down to uh, Harrisonburg. A lot, a lot of snow. What's going to happen, though, it's gone by Sunday afternoon. The sun will pop out again. Mm -hmm. Sunday's going to be a pretty nice day to get out. It's still a bit of a wind out there, but it's doing okay. And then you get to Monday, you're 39 degrees, a great-looking day, really, and it's going to be so pretty with this snow. Tuesday, 46. Some of you could be hitting with 50 degrees on wow. Tuesday. Oh, boy. All right, Lonnie. Thanks very much. And check